Hiring for jobs at the California Mid-State Fair has been challenging. And as Brooke Martell explains, it's an obstacle businesses across the city of Paso Robles are also facing while business is booming. I feel like a lot of people think the pandemic is over, but for businesses, we're still struggling to get back on our feet. Brooke Johnson owns brunch in Paso Robles. She says the restaurant greeting you're used to getting comes with a disclaimer. I do have all of my servers talk to the customers and just let them know, you know, like we're back up in the kitchen. We don't have enough people on staff, so it might take a little bit longer for everything to come out. On the weekends, wait times can be upwards of two hours. Johnson attributes the lag to being understaffed. I have ads out on Craigslist, Indeed, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere, and I think I've gotten two applications in the last four months. Down the street, Thomas Hill Organics is facing the same uphill battle. We have been extremely busy, but due to our labor shortage, we've had to uh, pretty much cut reservations off almost every day. Debbie Thomas is the owner of Thomas Hill Organics, and she says she feels like the restaurant industry is competing against the government when it comes to hiring on back of house staff. I'll answer them immediately because that's just who I am. And I'll say, hey, can you come in tomorrow for an interview? And guess what? They don't answer back or they say, yes, I can. And guess what? They don't show. Tom Kafiri with the California Mid-State Fair says nearly 500 people were hired to work at the fair this year. That's compared to the 600 plus who worked in 2019. Hiring has been challenging, you bet. Last weekend, an open call for event staff positions at the fair was held to fill last minute roles, something the fair hasn't had to do in years past. If somebody's still on the fence or if things change in their personal life a few days into the fair, they can still go ahead and fill out an application. We'll still take a look at that and we might still be able to hire somebody. Hoteliers are also having to get creative when it comes to filling the gaps. A part of, of the way I now dress each day is not a suit and tie, but it's a short sleeve shirt, it's tennis shoes, it's teamwork, it's cross training, it's uh, us all uh, helping out in any way we can to get through a day. It's a trend that most communities are seeing. We know uh, the Workforce Development Board sends a monthly report out and they're showing that there are people that are available to work. Um, but not many, not as many as we would like to see. Paso Robles Chamber of Commerce CEO Gina Fitzpatrick suggests thinking a little bit outside the box when it comes to hiring back staff. So in the past, it was easy to say I need five full time people to fill these shifts. And now we need to look at things like I may need eight part time people and three full time people in order to fill what I'm really looking for. Brooke Martell, KSBY News. The city recently held a job fair that hosted 78 local businesses in order to give job seekers a more personable face-to-face -face experience while applying to jobs. The plan is to hold another job fair in late August or early September.